Okay, folks, welcome back to Rick's Radio Conversions. Today, uh, we got a, quite a few things going on in the shop. Uh, one is we have Paul's uh, quadraphonic uh, radio out of a Lincoln, and uh, this is our first radio we're doing that was converted by somebody else some time ago. Um, and uh, it was a, a competitor's uh, board, uh, not an Aurora design. Right, that's this guy right here. This huge behemoth of a board. Um, and he wasn't very happy with it for a few years, I guess. So uh, he asked us to reconvert it. So we took that out and we're gonna put in the Aurora design, uh, this little tiny guy right here. Um, so that's that, we're pretty honored to do that. Um, kind of neat that uh, our first uh, reconversion I guess you could say so we're gonna go over here a little bit to uh, to Paul's radio now this is uh, spaghetti lab right now uh, so Paul have no fear um, we're hoping to get it all wrapped up here soon but uh, this is a quadraphonic radio which means the 8 track has four tape heads instead of two Okay, so with a quadraphonic, um, most this is a not a not a quadraphonic tape, right? Uh, most uh, quadraphonic tapes have two head units that come out. Okay, and you can kind of see that's these two right here. All right, there's one, and then there's two. And what would happen is if we were to hook up, oh, and there's a right and a left and a right and a left. If you hook up only one of those, then you're only going to get either uh, programs one and two or three and four. You would never hear the other two because with a uh, two channel stereo input, you only could use one or the other. However, what we've done is we've used this guy right here, which this uh, basically is a electronic switch that is going to go between these tracks and these tracks as needed. Luckily, the way this all works is, I'm going to try and get down in here. So this is your program selector down in here, this, this guy right here. And what that does is it has a cam, and I don't even think you can see it. Uh, but there's a cam down in there, and that's what drives your tape head to move up in the four positions. Um, on this model. On a standard model that would only have two positions and would go up and down like that. So, luckily for us, in the back of that cam switch uh, is another switch that tells what side of the tape track we're on. So what we can do with this is we can then use it for this switch right here this guy and actually tell it when to move between tracks for one and two and then three and four. This is your output, which goes to the preamplifier, which goes into Frank the Tank. Frank has no face. He's very sorry about that, but he's uh, under work right now. Um, so that's where we're at with the eight track part of it. We already tested everything else. This radio is very, very unique. It has, um, it has balance and fader built into it. Really, really awesome. Really cool function. Um, we already object everything. Like I say, this is already a converted radio, and we'll get back into that later um, in another episode. Uh, motor was good. Uh, belt's good. Going to try and still order another one to replace that guy. Um, we added a digital... Uh, DC motor speed controller for the 8-track. So what we did was we kind of just to make sure we were straight we put these LEDs in way over here uh, that's going to kind of show you which tape head is running at each time. So we'll do that now. Hopefully everything is going to be copacetic here. So I've got the Beach Boys going. It's kind of ironic. I have two tapes of them. So we're down here on track three. 
and what will happen is, so that's this tape head that's running right now. And then I'll go to the next song, right, because now we're on shutdown, right? Now if you've noticed, watch the green LEDs over here, right? So now we are still on this one tape head, right, because we're on three and four. So we're down here somewhere. And then now, so now we're on track one, and then we'll go to track two. Back over to three, four, one, two. So that's how we're able to get around a quadraphonic uh, four output and cutting it back down to two. Um, the digital switch will switch it back and forth um, as the micro switch tells you what part of the cam you're on. That's kind of cool. Um, real quiet, no, no noise. Sounds really, really good. Uh, radio is very, very clean. Uh, you can kind of tell by the inside of the case, which uh, is all put away right now, but no dirt, no grime. So, so far things are looking up pretty good. Um, we need to get rid of all this awesome mess and micronize it down to uh, just a couple things right here. And uh, we'll move that on to another episode or whatever uh, as we get further along. But, you know, just so you know how that all works, uh, I'm not gonna let the tape run through, but as you get to the end of the programs, uh, where are we at here? We are, uh, yeah, so we're in the middle of the track here, but as we get down all the way here to get around, right, there's a metal foil in there with a pickup, and then it'll jump right over to three. Um, as it was before. But as you can kind of tell though, I think you can see it on the video, you can kind of see that LED is going. And then there we are back to that one. That's four. Back over to one. Back over to three. Uh, so, uh, pretty neat. Um, we won't be having these on these LEDs in there. That was just for uh, believe it or not, my way of figuring out where I was in the tape uh, and the cam and stuff. But so far, so good, uh, Paul. Um, like I say, we'll keep you abreast. Uh, unfortunately, when this radio was converted, um, whoever did it ripped all the guts out, even for the A-Track stuff. So the preamplifier is gone. Uh, limiting diode for the track changer is gone. So we got to kind of rebuild all that stuff. But, you know, that's just one of the things we can do if you do have a quadraphonic uh, eight track and it has a cam, uh, a cam switch on it that can tell us what tracks it were on. If that wasn't in there, th there really would be no way to, uh, to put that cam switch in. Um, and all that does is it's just a cog uh, with a switch. And as the, as the switch goes around, it figures out, okay, if you're in one and, you know, whatever track head you're on, there's two spots for that, then there's two spots for the other one. And that's how all that stuff works. So we hope you like this edition. And uh, Paul, we're, uh, we're in work and uh, we're probably on track for sometime late next week. And that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for more. And if you want your radio converted with a track, don't hesitate to call Rick's Radio Conversion, 757-716-9305. And we'll see you next time more with Frank the Tank and doing this awesome quadraphonic radio. Later. Bye.